Rica. Alright, whenever we square a binomial, the product is always a PSD. So, pag pabaglit ka rin ko, if I'm going to, if I'm going to do the reverse process, alright, meaning if I'm going to factor out a PSD, the expected factor form is in the uh, squaring binomial form. Alright, so without uh, further ado, alright, I want you to buckle up because you're in for another fun math program. Why? But negative 6 
equal to the middle term. Alright, so let's get the square root of the first and the last terms. Ayan. So, get the square root of 9m4 over 4 and the square root of 16 and square root over 25. Okay, so when getting the square root of a fraction number, all you have to do is to get the square root, or I mean, extract the square root of both the numerator and the denominator. Alright, so what is the square root of 9m4? Okay, so you have 3. As for the variable, kung gusto nyo kunin yung square root niya, all you have to do is just to divide, okay, divide the exponent by 2. Alright, so 4 divided by 2 is 2. So therefore, the square root of m raised to 4 is m squared. All over, get the square root of 4 as well. So the square root of 4 is 2. Next, get the square root of 16 and square root over 25. So this is equal to positive, negative, 4 and over 5. Okay, next, let's have the checking. So you have twice the product of this one, the roots of the first and the last terms. So you have 2 times 3 and square root over 2 times 4 and over 5. Alright, so you have 2, since the denominator here is 2, so we can simply cancel this one out, that is already equal to 1, then the red chunk multiplication na lang, so you have 3m squared times 4n, this is equal to 1, okay? We have 1, 3m squared times 4n, this is equal to 12m squared n, over, so this is already 1 times 5, so you have 5, alright? So you have 12m squared n over 5, and this is the value of our middle term. Alright. By the way, positive yung ginawa ko dito kasi nga positive yung middle term mo. So, ibig sabihin, since nakuha natin siya, therefore, this is a PST. And since PST siya, ibig sabihin, we can factor this one out. This is just simply equal to Alright. The square root of this one, we have 3m squared over 2 plus, yung middle term na sign, plus uh, the square root of the last term, 4n over 5. And again, do not forget the exponent rule. So that is our answer. Alright, so for our last example, we have 3m cubed minus 30m squared plus 75m. Sa unang tingin, alam niya agad na hindi perfect square ang first and last term. However, if you will look closely to this example, mapapansin niya na meron silang greatest um, common monomial factor, alright? So, ang greatest common monomial factor ng three terms na to ay 3M. Alright? So, if we're going to get the GCF, masisimplify natin ito. We have 3M. Alright? Yan yung GCMF natin. Okay, i-multiply natin itong 3M na to sa quotient na to trinomial at saka ng 3M. Okay, so divide lang natin. 3M cubed divided by 3M is equal to M squared. Next, negative 30m squared divided by 3m is minus 10m. And then you have 75m divided by 3m. This is equal to 25. Alright, so now let us check if this uh, trinomial is a PSC or not. Get the square root. So you have, ayan, punin na natin square root. So the square root of m squared and the square root of 25. So this is equal to m and this is equal to positive negative. 